Hey guys, Luke here, Tranquility Based Detailing. Hope your Black Fridays have found you well. I uh, hope you've not spent too much. Um, I mean, I don't mean that. I hope you spent absolutely loads. But what I mean is that I hope you've kept a few pennies back just in the back pocket for Wax Junkies because their launch is next week and you need to be on board. It's the second wax of the four of theirs that I've tried. Add into that, they've got a Black Friday special edition. And I, as of recording this, I've uh, just checked on the website, there are eight pots left. So if you can dash out and get one of those, do it, add it to the collection. But hands down, you do need to get these waxes in your life. You need to get them in your collection because I think not only for, for the money, um, they're fantastic buys, but I think because they're quality waxes, they're fantastic buys. So the first wax I reviewed, I believe is going to be comparable to their Sugar Rush, which is their entry level. Um, it's a pre-production sample that I got and, you know, different scents and so on from release. So I, I'm not 100% on that, but I, I kind of feel confident enough to say that. Um, this particular one, a full size, again, pre-production one, so there's a crack in the wax, which is not standard. Uh, Dan, for those who don't know, uh, Wax Junkie is actually a, uh, an offshoot of ODK. Um, so recent news, Dan... He knows his onions, uh, he messaged me and said, look, it's cracking this wax, it's not usual fare, they're all gonna come perfect pour. So don't worry about that, that's a small detail that shouldn't be focused on. It's certainly not gonna be the norm in, uh, in the production runs. Um, but yeah, what can I tell you about it? I enjoyed using it. There's a few things about using it that I think, I don't know whether they were put in there by design, I'm gonna say the work, because you know, the, the, the nice features of it as a wax, um, the basics as far as you know texture of the wax loading it very straightforward nice soft oily wax i found it very difficult to over apply in that as you start to apply to the paint so it, it swipes on smooth um you know really nice wax to apply um but it kind of gives you almost a bit of a feedback that you know you wax over a panel and as you just kind of you know back and forth making sure that you've you've waxed every spot uh, you can feel as you hit bits that you've already waxed. Uh, and, you know, not in a bad way. I don't want anyone to allocate the word grabby to this because that's, that's not fair. Um, it gives you that feedback. You know, you feel it through your fingertips that, look, I've done this bit, I'm now over applying. And then the same was true for, for removal. So when it came to uh, to buffing it off, the instructions are on the back of the uh, the jar there. So it's like five to 15 minutes cure time. Use a plush cloth to, uh, to remove. Um, the night was dragging on a little bit here. You can see we're in sort of evening dusk and this is only like half three. This is just November for us. Um, it was getting a little bit cooler and I was worried about sort of uh, panel getting a bit too cold. Um, I gave it about 10 minutes and wanted to sort of chance much past that. Um, but when it came to removal as well, it was exactly the same story as application. You wipe the towel across it and you could feel that like satisfying wipe type of feeling and then on the back stroke that the paintwork was slick and smooth and, and you had got the wax off. Uh, and I think it was a nice feature of it, particularly when you talk to Danny, he says, you know, wants these to be fun and easy to use. And I try and view this through the eyes of a newbie. I thought, you know, if you've never waxed a car before, um, you know, you're gonna have that, how do I know I'm, you know, not over applying, under applying. I mean, there's probably questions that you don't even know to ask like over and under application, but the wax when you're using it is telling you, look, you've hit this spot already, you know, just move on. You can feel a, a marked difference panel to panel as you do that and you, you hit parts that you've already waxed. Um, overall, nothing really I could pick at with this. Um, you know, I've, I've got no feedback that I could give to, to, uh, to Dan to say, you know, look, this needs improvement or this I think could be tweaked. Because all in all, I think he's nailed it. I, I really do. I think this a cracking wax is a fantastic wax for the price um like i say finish and, and removal of covered as far as then the other bits uh, the overall finish on the paint i mean check this out have a look at this if this isn't worth i think it's 14 pounds the, the jar that i'm using if that's not a wax that you know is achieving that sort of finish and 14 pounds isn't interesting you then you know maybe look into uh, a different sort of hobby because maybe detailing is not for you um i thought the finish was great uh, water behavior I'll show you right at the end it beaded fantastically as well the overall finish that it gave very reflective one um, you know it gave almost like a, a wet glossiness to, to the silver in, in my opinion at least and you know it's difficult to film that I've, you know really trying to work on that hard for you guys but as far as in the flesh and the daylight through my own eyes 
it was a nice sort of wet reflective finish um, on the silver and, and tried to uh, to capture the reflection as much as I could so I made a comparison you see it here in a second the reflection of the uh, the 205 from the glass to then the paintwork you check this out I, th I think this kind of really should sell it to you if you're not sold on this already um, I just think it's a, it was a great wax but look at that you get a lovely lovely reflection on it other than that not a great else I can tell you um, like I say 1st of December is the day um, I actually went on to Wax Junkies last night uh, so it was Friday as I'm filming well as I'm uh, just editing this and, and doing the voiceover um, so Black Friday I was up midnight checking the different manufacturers I went to Wax Junkies it was 14 minutes past midnight I went on to it and I thought he's sold out already um, and then it occurred to me he doesn't actually launch these things till the 1st of December you know then I felt kind of a, a bit of a prat for that but while I was there he had his Black Friday waxes uh, so I picked one of those up I thought, you know may as well I'll add it to the collection because it will get used and I'm excited to try that given what I've tried already from uh, from these guys other than that though you know if there's any questions you guys have be sure to ask you know you've got the comment section down below if there's anything you want to know anything that you uh, you need to question let me know. I'd be happy to give uh, honest input with this. Um, but if not, like I say, take my recommendation. It's an excuse to spend some money. And as I've said before, and I'll keep saying it, just blame it on me. I'll take the hit on this one. But yeah, get out there. Get some of these waxes bought up. You won't regret it. You'll enjoy it. That, that's the main thing for these. They're really nice, pleasurable wax to use. Um, but yeah, that's everything. Uh, as I say to you guys every time, uh, if you can like, subscribe, comment, all of that uh, stuff that uh, I do appreciate uh, and, and check us out on Facebook, Instagram as well. So I try to keep updates on uh, Instagram and Facebook as often as possible as well as making the videos and likewise I'm reachable there. So if there's anything you want to see reviewed, if there's anything that you want to know, then ask away. I'm all ears. I'm going to finish with leaving you the finished shots. Um, so it's just as the sun was setting. So do enjoy and uh, check back for future videos. As always, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.